Hi everyone. Um, I'm Avery. <laughs> out of my car if you can't tell with all actually there's just a tree in the background and my stuff is like spread out just about everywhere um i think a storm's coming in so i don't think this is the best time to do this but when is it ever god <sighs> bugs, man, bugs. i'm in the process of reorganizing my car because it's an actual nightmare never have i ever done car camping and i'm living out of my car for five months and uh it's free rent so why not you know Storm's behind me over here. Like a weather caster. Oh my Lanta. Yeah, that's a mess. That's a mess. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to get used to living in organized chaos or just chaos, as my friend Molly says, because how can you really be organized when you have this much space? This is teaching me. Hi, bird. We did it. We got a thing going on. Yeah, dinner later. Speaking of dinner. Yeah, 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 I know. Tweeting! <laughs> Speaking of dinner, um, all I've had today was, girl, I'm trying to film here. I mean, all, I've had some meal. I've had meals today. I mean, I'm not gonna like sit here and be like, all I've had today was like a grain of rice. No, I've had meals, but like, I'm hungry. Anyways, we're not on the topic of eating things right now. We're on the topic of showing you my little setup here. So this is a Toyota RAV4. <laughs> this is, the current state of it. I just fixed these dang fairy lights because they keep falling down and pissing me off, but that's all right. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do some reorganizing. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna have a grape. Do you want one? They're not washed. Okay, more for me, I guess. Mmm, chemicals. It's not good at all. But you know what? We're just looking for it works. Not good, not great, it works. Um, where to start? Hmm. I kind of like am freaking out right now because there's so much to do. Don't worry, it was just a stem. It was biodegradable. Oh, this one feels so good. Okay, do things. All right, it's not bright out at all. I just wanted to wear these two. Bad. Since we've had recent developments, I just figured out how to organize this so much better. <laughs> Something I've been figuring out the hard way is that less is better when you're car camping, especially. Probably just camping in general, but like you don't need all the extra stuff. You don't need extra blah, blah, blah. Like you just need the bare minimum. I saw a couple rain droplets and I was like, oh, it's gonna start downpouring. Let me take these goofy sunglasses off. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Just a little mountain girl. I get struck by lightning. Ding! In your face! Mother Nature be like, oh, why is there dirt all over my bed? I think I can give you like a rough setup now. I don't know. Don't have high expectations because that's what I had for myself and I was let down. Oh. This tastes kind of funny. The water has been baking in my car for the past like five days probably. So it just probably tastes like microplastics. Always <laughs> set your expectations at zero. That way you can never be disappointed, okay? All right, let's go on a little tour, shall we? My hair's just floating around, doing whatever it wants. So welcome to the beauty that she is. Sorry, it's really windy, so. Oh, that is my garbage. Dirty socks, dirty water bottle, and a charger. That's my driver's seat, okay? Very nice. <laughs> This is what the driver passenger side looks like. I got my shoes all shoved down there. Underneath those shoes is a, what's that called? Roadside assistance bag. And I got windshield wiper fluid and laundry detergent. Okay, cool. This is like sweatshirts. My little hammock is in there. It's not hammock, it's hammock. Okay, thank you. Cook kitchen thing. With a oh, not my foot shaver, bro, bro, bro. 
Okay, you know what? This is real. This is me. This is who I am. This is my kitchen setup. I got a lot of random things in there, like um, pots and pans. Maybe you'd like to see my face when I'm talking. Pots and pans and things of those sorts. Sponges, dish soap. You know, just basically what you have in your kitchen, but like less. Okay, bring yourself there. You're there. Awesome. Good. I have window coverings that I just like shoved to the side. And then obviously this is like my toiletries with my foot. <laughs> Shaver. <laughs> and some Clorox wipes and an ice scraper in case winter comes. Because it never in Montana. Literally anything could happen. It's like Minnesota, but like with mountains and no bugs. Here is it from the, what's it, what's it called? Trunk? Okay. All right, trunk view. We got some snackies. We got some foodies and snackies. Some powdered milk. Mmm, yummy, your favorite. Toilet paper, which I didn't really need. Or paper towels, which I also didn't really need. That's kind of silly of me. Some other snacks. Obviously, some friendship bracelets, because I'm a master at that, if you can tell. Check it. Okay, some socks that are definitely dirty and smell, but good thing you're not here and can't actually smell them. These are my two most loyal companions. This is Tom. He's seen some things in his life, obviously, but very loyal. And this is Howie. I actually got her in Montana. So fun fact, and she smells like lavender. All right, getting inside. Think skinny thoughts. Let's turn the lights on for some aesthetic. Oh, like I said, it's just good enough. Wow, the wind has done a number on my hair. We don't care. We do not care. Moving over to these little bins over here. Got those in South Carolina when I worked at a summer camp. I had those for the counselor room and they were actually really handy. In the top bin, we got my uh, delicates. <laughs> and things of those sorts. And the second drawer, this is all super, this is all super like entertaining, I know. The second drawer, I mean, second drawer is just pants and then the bottom drawer is like miscellaneous stuff like extra fuel and contact solution and deodorant because I stink a lot and uh, alcohol. What? Nothing. Got a little camp fan for when it gets hot and claustrophobic in here. Just put this on and it like takes me to the ocean. And this little bin right here, we got like some games. I don't even really have games. Like I have a hacky sack. Things I can, I'm gonna name things I can see. A hacky sack, pencils, a tapestry. Cause I thought I was gonna hang it up in here. Like sometimes we'll sit down on it. I don't know. Um, books, things to write with. Oh, I have a sleeping bag liner. Oh, this is my stove right there. I sleep next to it in case I need to like stay warm. I don't know. This is roughly what it would look like if I were sleeping. My little blanket, sleeping bag, pillow, buddies, and another pillow. This is what it looks like from the side if you're curious at all. I got a camp table that I haven't used yet. I've opened it, but I haven't used it. And a camp chair. <clears throat> Behind this seat, I have like a back seat organizer, but like honestly, I have not really grabbed anything out of there. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. I got my gratitude journal. Um, a lint roller, bear spray, and another just journal type thing. I got some hats. Duh. This is what the front looks like. The front is kind of chaos. Obviously, I can't really have a passenger, but that's fine. Um, this is more toiletries. This is the nightmare that I hate to deal with. So my cooler. I don't really have anything in there because I just got back from my five-day training. This is my hiking backpack. This is my squishmallows I got in South Carolina with my buds. Bring them everywhere with me and they always remind me that I'm not alone in life. Anyways, um, this is my water jug, got a first aid kit and a little broom sweepy thing, but who cares about keeping things clean because we're just gonna get dirty again, honestly. This is where we are. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. so you can hear me a little bit better. You just, uh, uh. <coughs> Let me just smell this water bottle real quick before I do anything else. I'm scared. Oh, well, it kind of smells like beef jerky. <laughs> I was gonna say dirt, dirty socks at first, but I'm getting more of like a beef jerky smell now. It's kind of concerning. We're just gonna leave that open and let her breathe. But yeah, um, this is my rough car camp setup. This is just when I sleep though. When I drive, I have to like put some things down. I think I'm gonna invest in some bungee cords so I don't always have to rearrange everything. And so it doesn't go flying when I drive. 
I'm a safe driver, it's just like the smallest turn. And then sometimes when I forget that I have stuff in the back, it all goes flying too, so there's no winning. This is day three of me camp car or camp carring. This is day three of me car camping. We have a lot to learn. I've been adapting as I go kind of, and I've been trying to be patient with myself and everything, but sometimes it's a lot. We're just gonna take each day as it comes and see what happens. I'm just trying to soak it all in. I haven't been really filming too much just because there's been a lot going on and this is a big change, <clears throat> but I'm happy to be here. Follow along for some more fun and don't forget to be yourself and get after what you want in life because otherwise nothing is going to change. I don't know if this will ever go live to the internet. Life is just one big messy journey. This is, this stain's gonna be in here forever. So actually there's, I was gonna ask you for some stain removal ideas, but I just don't really care that much, so. <laughs> <laughs> These sunglasses are good because in case you can't see anything, it's, if it's too dark, the shade will just pop right out. So let me just, ow. I'm scared. <laughs> that was stupid. That was so dumb. And see.